today we're going to talk about the tomato or Roman pizza. So usually when you go to Rome, everybody uses the pine, the fine pool, okay, like this one for example, and it works very well. Now today I'd like to show you that we can use uh, just the normal plum tomato, pelati, like the Neapolitan style uh, tomato. Okay, so we're going to bake some pizza with this tomato and not the fine pool. Just to show you that it works very, very well. So we have 2.5 kilo tomato. What we do? We put the tomato inside, clean the can with water, just a little bit, so you don't lose money, like this. Now, we are going to add to the 2.5 kilo tomatoes 25 30 grams of sea salt. There we go. So, 30 grams of fine sea salt. Okay. We have the 30 grams. Then we can add extra virgin olive oil to give a nice taste to our tomato. For 2.5 kilos, we can add more or less 20 grams of extra virgin. Okay? And then the last ingredient, very important, basil, fresh basil. Don't use the knife. Just break the basic lid like this. And then the last step, very important, we're going to smash the plum tomato with the hands. This is a Neapolitan tomato, okay? And works for real, very, very good for Roman pizza. So I like to do this for my pizzas and I hope that you're gonna do the same for yours. Then, after that you mix and you smash the tomato, leave to rest, I mean, put to rest the tomato sauce for more or less three, four hours inside your refrigerator, 39 Fahrenheit, four Celsius degrees. And then the tomato is gonna be ready with a beautiful taste of fresh basil, sea salt, and extra virgin olive oil. Of course, the tomato has to be a very good quality, yeah? Not too acid. Okay, and even is ready. Okay, now we are going to bake the tomato base Roman pizza. Remember, I call it base because it's a base of pizza that you're gonna have always ready in your rack. And then you can finish the base of red tomato pizza with mozzarella, pepperoni, everything you like. So it's gonna be very fast, the service. This is the real Roma pizza, by the way. So we flip, now we wait a few seconds. So now we go with flour on both doubles. And now we're going to stretch. So this one is a small dough, okay? It's not 1.3, 1.4. This one actually is a 900 grams of dough. So it's very thin crust. So let me show you how easy it is to stretch the 900 grams. Just up and down four times. Double zero flour, no semolina. And now we can finish our pizza just like this. Now a light signature. And the pizza is ready for the tomato sauce. 
Remember, we're using blue tomato. This time, it's not the fine cooked tomato, okay? It's just a Neapolitan tomato with the sea salt, extra bitumen oil, fresh basil leaves. That's it. Very easy, very simple, very tasty because it's a great quality of tomato. 12 ounces of tomato, more or less. That's up to you. You can decide to, make, to put more or less. And then we use the hand so we can stretch, but in the meantime, giving white line stripes, okay? Because we want to give air to our dough. So we don't want to kill the gas of your pizza. We want to make a nice structure. So it's enough tomato, actually it's a, a lot, because I like sauce it. Here we go, and the pizza is ready. Now, if you like, you can just go straight like this, and you can bake the base of tomato, or if you like, like in my case, I'm going to add more extra virgin olive oil, just for the taste of the pizza. Let's say like the Neapolitan style pizza, okay? So we're giving more taste to our pizza with the extra virgin olive oil. Pull out the corners, the edges, and the pizza is ready to be baked. Let's go. Ready. One more time. We didn't use the semolina, we just have uh, the double zero flour and the crispiness. It's super light. It's not a bread, it's not too dry. We still have the moisture of the pizza and the light crispiness of pizza and not bread. Now, what we do with this uh, uh, base of pizza with tomato, again, we have to wait the five minutes. If you see the pizza is still smoking, baking, that reason we use the cooling rack under the pizza. So after the five minutes, if you like, you can use a fresh mozzarella, dry mozzarella, or other product, and you can finish baking for the last time your pizza, if it's a delivery, or just for melting the mozzarella, like a couple of minutes, for the pizza display, okay? See you later.